Hello everyone. So for this section, we are going to be talking about how you count atoms. So your topic is counting atoms. Your goal is I can tell how many of each atom is found in a compound. So here on this slide, we have two words that you need to have written down and underlined with their definition. First is the subscripts. So subscripts are a little, um, subscripts here next to the elements the other word i'm pretty sure it's just use subscripts just like in word and all that stuff so that tells you how many of that specific element there is so for example we have h2o well here next to the h is a2 so that means we have two h's this o does not have a number if there is not a number it is known to be a one so since there's not a number there then we just have one oxygen coefficients it tells you how much of that compound you have you have to distribute that coefficient to all elements in that compound so for example here we have 2co so to distribute that means this 2 affects both the c and both the o or and the o so we would have two carbons because you would do two times however many carbons you have so we just have one so two times one is two so we would have two carbons and then we would also have two oxygens. Here we have two H2O. So you would do two times two is four. So we would have four hydrogens and then two times the one oxygen, you would only have two oxygens. So here are some examples. Two CO2. So here we have a coefficient so we need to distribute that to both here we only have one carbon because there's no subscript so we would do two times one so that means we would have two total carbons now the oxygen it has a subscript of two so when we distribute this two this two goes to the oxygen two times two that means we have four oxygen now for this problem three c2h4 so these have c has a subscript of two so we need to multiply three times two, which is six. That's how many carbons you would have. And then for hydrogen, you would do three times four, which is 12. Now for the last example, you have two MgClO3 in parentheses, and then a two on the outside. So this is a little different. We've not seen a problem like this. If you have a compound in parentheses and a subscript outside, this two actually affects the two compounds. Now that's CL, that's a lowercase l. So CL is one compound and then O is the next compound. So this two will need to be multiplied with everything on the inside. And then this two also needs to go. So let's see if I can draw some arrows. So this two will need to be multiplied to the mg. The two will need to be multiplied to the CO. The two will also need to be multiplied to the O. Now this two right outside the parentheses, it only goes to what's inside the parentheses. So I'm gonna draw these lines and then show you how we do that math. All right, so MG. It's not in the parentheses, so we don't have to worry about this two. So we would just do two times one, so we have two MGs. Okay, here. You will do two times CL because you have that coefficient, but you also need to multiply it by that two out here. So two times one is two, and then two times two is four. So you would have four CLs. Now oxygen, right here, you have two times three, which is six. 
And then you'll also need to multiply it by that 2 right there. So 6 times 2 is 12. You would have 12 oxygen. Now, in your digital notebook, for counting atoms, we have some examples right here. You will need to write how many of each element you have in a compound. Some have coefficients or numbers in the front. Some do not. So like this first one, since there's no number in the front, it has a subscript of 2. So that means we would only have 2 hydrogen. And then here, there's no coefficient, but it has a subscript of 2. So we would have 2 oxygen. So that's how you do that first one. And you have... Um, about seven different examples that you'll need to work on for this. If you have any questions on this, let me know and I'll be happy to help.